Hallelujah and blessings in Jesus, friends. Allow me to say that again. Blessings in Jesus this morning. Welcome back to Hayekadosh Ministries, where holiness is a way of life. Jesus is truly King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and God's Holy Bible is our only standard for truth. Well, friends, today is September the 21st in the year of our Lord, 2017, and this is one a day for the soul. Now, I trust that you are feeling blessed this morning, that you've had your coffee, that you have fellowshiped with the Father, that your heart is turned away from this world toward the things of God, and that you are ready to be made ready for the battle that lies before you. Well, friends, our text this morning is going to be taken out of the book of Colossians, and this is one of my favorite books in the New Testament, and chapter 3 is so powerful. So I want to encourage you sometime today, get alone in a quiet place and read Colossians chapter 3. But we're specifically going to focus beginning at verse 10. Now, when you wake up in the morning, you certainly clothe your physical man, your physical body. Well, friends, the Bible commands us to clothe our spiritual body. And how are we to do that, you may ask? Well, that's exactly what we're going to see in our text this morning. Colossians chapter 3 and verse 10. Now, he says, put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian or Scythian. There's neither bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on, therefore, as the chosen of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies. Look for every opportunity you can to serve others. Put on kindness, put on humility of mind, see yourself lower than all others, put on yourself meekness, put on yourself long suffering, patience, put on yourself forbearance with one another, put on forgiveness for one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also you forgive others. And above all these things, above all of these things, friends, as important as each and every one of these are, put on love. This is the bond of maturity, of perfectness. And let the peace of the Almighty rule in your hearts as a king rules a nation. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts, understanding that God is in control. Jesus is on the throne, and nothing happens without his permission. And by doing this, you realize you are called in one body. So be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, in all teaching in all admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. As you begin your day, friend, is there a song upon your heart? Are you full of praise and thankfulness this morning? And whatsoever you do, in word or in deed, do it all in the name as a representative of the Lord Jesus upon this earth, giving thanks to God and the Father by him and through him. Oh, friends, what a task this sets before us each and every day when we arise. To cast off the anxieties and the worries of this world and to once again put on as the chosen of God, as ambassadors of God, to put on the holy armor, which is bowels of mercy and kindness, humility of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, forgiving one another, 
just as Christ has forgiven us. And above all these things, putting on charity, on love, understanding that this is what holds us together. And let the peace of God rule in our hearts. Let the word of Christ dwell in us richly in all wisdom so that we may teach and admonish one another in psalms, in hymns, in spiritual psalms, and that we will go throughout our day singing with grace in our hearts unto the Lord for the great things that he has done for us. Hallelujah. For the great things he is doing for us. Hallelujah. For the great things he is going to do for us. Hallelujah. Well, friends, I pray that this will set your day straight. I pray that your mind is upon the things of God. I pray that you will walk your journey today, experiencing all the beauty of the Lord and his holiness around you each and every moment. Well, I love you, friends. I'm so grateful that you're again here with us. Spread the word. Tell others because there is so much falsehood. There is so much untruth. There is so much of the will of man being taught among us, and it is hard to find truth. And friends, it isn't anything special about me or this ministry, only that we stand upon the purity and the uncompromising truth of the Word of God. And that's what every believer needs in their lives each and every day. Because as we said before, and we will say it again, the Holy Bible is our only standard for truth. So resist the teachings of men, fall into the word of God, and pattern your life after what he teaches us in his word. And friends, you can never go wrong. Well, may your day be blessed in the Lord Jesus in all you do. And as our text told us, whether in word or deed, do all in the name of of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, friends, I love you. Thank you again for joining us. And until tomorrow, and as the Lord wills, we will see you on the next video.